Hey everyone, welcome to the last episode of Silent Hill 2, for now. Um, for the Patreon series, this is going to be the last one for this run. Um, we have the paint thinner, so I'm, I'm guessing we're going to use that on the picture and get the code to the suitcase that way. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. This is the last episode of the game, so we're going to wrap up everything. We know Eddie is dead by now, we know uh, Laura is somewhere in the hotel. We we don't know yet where Angela is. We might still run into her. I mean, obviously I know, but um, for anyone new to Silent Hill, that is still in the open. Uh, after that, who else do we have? We saw um, Maria die for a second time on the bed. So who knows whether she's going to pop up again or not. And that's all the characters we have so far if I'm not mistaken. So let's continue uh, exploring the hotel and see what we find. Okay, let's use this. Should work? Yes, it's open. So much for kill, huh? <laughs> it still said kill. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, but the game really threw me for a loop. I pressed continue um, uh, before I started recording. I pressed continue to open to just open the game ahead of time to where where I was, and it loaded me into the hospital hospital lobby with Maria. And I was like, "What the fuck is going on? What happened to my saves?" And then I went to load, and it was just there. It just chose to load a different save. So I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" That was really weird. That was like the same sensation I had when I played Silent Hill 1. Um, hi. When I played Silent Hill 1, there was this one brilliant moment. It's one of my favorite things about the game. Um, is when you... Oh, I cut the box. When you um, are in the hospital in that game and you explore all the elevator floors, all the floors through the elevator, and there's like one, two, three, and then you're like, hmm, I didn't really find out where to go next. Uh, then you, am I on the ground floor? No, I need to go down further, yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't, fuck. Uh, but anyway, you explore all the floors that you can, and then you're like, hmm, I think there. I, I don't know where to go next, let me go back to the elevator. And then you find out that you go back in the elevator and suddenly there's a new floor. Like, there's just a new button in the elevator. A floor that you didn't know existed. And then your head's like, was that button always there? I don't remember. Because the game does nothing to point it out to you. It's so brilliant. I still need one more box. Sure, I'll take it. You want to just put the other one in? Oh, maybe I need to access it from the side. Maybe I can put the other one here. Seed of the princess who awoke from death. That is... Well... That's... Uh, that's not Cinderella. That's Snow White. It's hard for me to think of the names in English. My brain is just like... Stay with you. Uh, seed of the princess who spoke no words. Who spoke no words? Wait, what's the third thing say? Who fled at midnight? That has to be Cinderella. Asapusha. <laughs> In Dutch. Asapuster. Wait, so the other one is... 
Little Mermaid. Oh. The kleine Seemermin. Full. Oh yeah, she can she can't speak in the movie. I forgot. I'm not familiar with the Little Mermaid that much. So I still need a third one now. Let's see what it sounds like now. Still not that great. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I need one more box. He can't exit through here, right? Okay. Then where have I missed something? Oh, employee elevator key. I found it in room 204. Oh, that must be... Okay, that must be where we need to go then. Um, This way? Oh no, it was the other way. Fuck. I think it was right across from here. I think this is a really annoying one. We have to put all your stuff away because the elevator is overloaded otherwise. Yeah. Ugh. Too heavy. I'm too heavy. I always wonder... I never remember if I need to drop everything I have. <coughs> no, don't use it. How do I access the... God, what a horrible sound. Weight allowance, one person. Weight allowance, one person. There you go. Ah, oh, stop it! Ah, oh, My head can't deal. I could store my stuff here. Put an item on the shelf. Put on shelf. I hate this. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. I don't think I can bring anything with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna sneakily try and bring well, this this might not matter. <coughs> Do you think this is still too heavy? I never learn. <laughs> I want everything with me. Can I not even bring this key? <laughs> I'll save. Wait, not even my flashlight though? I guess not, huh? <clears throat> Excuse the throat, it's still kind of sore. I'm doing a lot better though. There's a lot of- there's some, some strength that returned to my voice, even though it's still a little bit raspy. Look at that. That one key did it. So where should we go? Wait, let me check out my map first. Look at my map. So this elevator... We're pretty much good on this floor. We have been... Yeah, the bottom floor doesn't lead anywhere. Basement is nothing new either. So do we go to three? Yep. Let's try that. I guess it doesn't go to every floor. It goes to one.
Straight out. Haven't I been here already, though? Oh. I guess not. Oh, it's a different elevator! I have nothing on me. Here we are. Oh shit. Um, should we try the kitchen first or let's... I think the kitchen might lead back so... I guess I'll try the office first. Can I please have a weapon? Ah, it's way too dark too. I can't see anything without my flashlight. Goes even deeper? I'm already in the basement. What the fuck? Oh no. No, no. Ah! Jesus. Oh my god. Ah, go! I can't see a fucking thing. Well, I got a mech kit. Can you like turn on the lights here somewhere? Barky? This is no joke, guys. I have no equipment. I can't defend myself. The world is scary. It's too dark to read a map. So fucked. No, 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 no. Oh my god, go. Where am I? Oh. Can't wait to get my stuff back. A can with no label. Seems important. the door? It is. Ooh, bar! Can't even see where I can walk. <laughs> I miss my flashlight. Can I put a song on? A lamp on the counter. Oh, there's no light bulb. We need a light bulb. Is that a door? Try to use the dark the bar key, but it's too dark to find the keyhole. Fuck, man. Wait, how did I? Oh, it's light enough in here to. Okay, so I skipped two doors, three doors actually, from the boiler room. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta go back. I have enough healing items on me now, at least, that if I can take a couple hits. We're just gonna have to do it. Hi. Ah! There was something here too, though. Oh, okay. Ah! Uh, uh, don't. Don't nibble. I thought there was a door there, but I don't know. Ah, there's another! Ah! Fuck. Okay, this is where I came from. Let's go. I'll come back later and kill them. <laughs> so wait, what did I get from there? Oh, a key. Strong woman. I don't need no weapons, I do. But most of all, I need my flashlight. What are you looking at? Safe? Ooh, videotape. Oh, Silent Hill. It can open our fog. That's what I need it, man. Shit. 
Anything else here? No? Nothing? Oh, nothing useful written in the documents on top of the desk. Okay. Let's check all the other doors, see if we can find some more items. I can't even see where they are though. Okay, one on the left. And then there was one on the right. Okay, one on the end. Good. I can't even see. I'm just. Oh! I was just op spamming. Spamming the confirm button. Schedule book from a year ago. Shells, nice. Too dark to read the map. Yeah, no shit. Sucks. Let's go back to the light. That is cool though. They can only open the map where there's light. Uh, let's try the bathrooms at the end here. Hello? Can we go back to Luigi's Mansion 3? <laughs> That's a lot less scary. <laughs> Mama -ma Mario! Okay, I'll check out this corner now as well. I don't even have my radio on me, so there's no static to warn me. <gasps> oh, storage. Potatoes and onions. Hey, that's a music box. I want that. Cool. Cookie. Tea bags and cookies. This is my kind of corner. All past or expiration dates. Not my kind of corner. Soup cans lined up. They're still okay, but I'm not hungry. Okay. Where else can I go? Can I go here? Barely see in the dark. Too dark to read the map. Mm, sorry for the sniffles. Kitchen's closed. There's one door here somewhere. Oh no, was it across here? There, I think I got it. There's another door there though. That was it. Okay, now we should go to the right past the employee lounge and check those doors. Oh, we can't? Oh, there's shutters there. Okay, never mind. Then here we go. Past the monsters, back to the can, because we have the can opener now. Scary, scary monster. Ah, out of my way, no. Where do I go again? Ah, Jesus, I think I need to be somewhere else. Ah, no. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, I ran the right way. Okay, the can. Uh, start. Can opener. With light bulbs in it. I remembered this because this is so weird to me. Okay. Now that I have a light bulb, go back to the bar. Um, use it here. And now the light's on. And we use the key, and we're out! Freedom! Can we use this elevator? Can I go to two? Doesn't work, I guess. <clears throat> so 
so sorry for the snotty sounds. Thankfully, I'm not too sick. Because, of course, anyone who gets sick now is super scary with corona. You're... I got super stressed when I got a little bit sick. I was like, oh no, is this the beginning of corona? But it's fine so far, really. It's just a sore throat that kind of led into a cold, I think, in my case. We've been self-isolating pretty well, so... Alright, oh, uh, let me get my thing back first, actually. Hmm. Wasn't Snow White in the middle? Oh, it's too dark to tell. Huh. Um... Where did I put the stuff away? It was on the second floor, wasn't it? Was it here? <gasps> Why are you guys here? Huh? Where'd you guys come from? <laughs> it's so quiet without the radio. It makes it so much scarier to me. Yes, take everything. Oh my god, I'm back in business. Let's shoot some bitches. 207 bullets, hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Uh, I should save that as well. Still hurts. <clears throat> Anyone else have that light sensitivity that I have? It's so annoying. Like, even my phone, if it, if it's too bright, I'm already like... Are they gone? <gasps> These motherfuckers! They're like, oh shit, it's got a gun, run! Run with all four of your legs! <laughs> but yeah, even my phone, if it's uh, too bright, it hurts. Don't play it. Good, and we have the key to the third floor hallway. So good. I like that it keeps playing too. Okay, up we go. The big reveal. What's in the room? Um, wasn't it like right here? Wasn't it this room? Was it 312? The thing disappeared. It was. This is it? Such a big hotel room. VCR. We have a tape. There she is. Again? It's Come Mary. On. Uh, I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. Uh, it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. 
There she is. It's hard to tell, but he grabbed a pillow and smothered her. So, the woman we've been looking for this whole time, we killed ourselves. Now he remembers. I was gonna say, how is that on videotape? But it's Silent Hill. Silent Hill, in this case, uh, after one, became more a thing about confronting people with their sins, I think. It's at least how I see it in this part. Um, Mary. There's Laura. So there you are, James. Did you get the letter? Did you find Mary? If not, let's get going already, okay? I think Laura might be there just because, just to give James more guilt. <clears throat> Mary's gone. She's dead. No, that's not true. She... she died because she was sick? Nope. No. I killed her. That's the James we heard earlier. James! That voice! Let's follow the signal. Everything's dripping wet. 
Shit's happening. Uh, observation room? Down the stairs? Music's so good. Not quite sure where I need to go, but... Okay, can't go there. Start trying doors. Oh, this opens. Where's my flashlight off? Can I not turn it on? Turn on. I'm just running wherever the game wants to take me. Apparently, this way. Are we still on the map? Okay, maybe the elevator works? We're getting teleported. Oh, what are you looking at? Ooh, two apples. Nice. I'm just guessing. Oh, water is rising. Kick it. There's one under water. Thanks, auto aim. That's a wall. I'm glad he points it out, because I didn't even- I couldn't even tell. Oh, the bar! Oh, here we are. Okay, now I know where we are. His head's looking at something. Oh. Jeez, there's a ton of health rings here. I already had so much on me, and the game was just, like, gearing me up even more. Getting so much shit. And I've been killing everything this time as well. Anything else? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Gun at the ready. Ah, there. something? No? The water is so cool. I'm gonna dream about water now, I think. I have dreams like that a lot, actually. Where places are like half flooded. Oh! There's Angela. We found her. Skin Mama! on the wall. Mama, I was looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? It's not Mama. You're not my Mama. It's it's you. Angela, no. Such an iconic scene. Thank you for saving me. But 
I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela. That's wrong. No. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? This camera angle. <laughs> That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? N no. I'd never kill myself. The stare seemed endless. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. So scary. Well, I suppose I can't walk through the fire. Can't follow her. There she goes. So Angela always sees fire and James sees water. So Silent Hill is like changing according to what they need to atone for. I hope that fire didn't hurt me too bad. So many healing items on me, I'll just keep myself healed up. Okay, let's see. So that was Angela. That's the last time we see her. Oh. Do you hear that heartbeat? I don't know why I'm even trying all these doors. I wonder why James's version is water, though. Oh, police lane. Oh, the heartbeat's right in my head. Don't, don't pin me. <clears throat> I'm just passing through. Oh, pin me. I'm behind the lobby. Weird. Ah, oh, the heartbeat, man. Get out of. Ooh, nice. I was gonna say, get out of my head. <laughs> Silent Hill at its finest. Ugh. The heartbeat's really uncomfortable to me. so dark here, man. Maybe we should turn up the brightness. James! Oh, Stop! Maria! Leave her alone! Leave us both the hell alone! Ah! I 
wonder if it is James's model under pyramid head as well. I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Oh, James getting badass. Oh god. It's rifle time, bitches. Um Okay, I'm full health. I wanted the brightness up, but let me see if it's bright enough now. It's still pretty dark, don't you think? Oh god. Ouch, dude. Jeez, some distance, please. That hurt. Um God, did that heal me fully? It says that it's on. Pressing the switch doesn't do anything. Let's just set it to six for now. So we at least can see a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh god. It takes a long time to shoot. Oh. I just need to go from corner to corner, shoot, and run. Because it takes so long. Oh shit. Go, 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 dude, run! Maybe I can get two shots off, but... Oh god, he's right here! Oh, ouch! Ouch, ouch. Pokes me right in the chest. Yeah, they're really close. They don't seem that fast, but... Jeez. Oh, fuck, I'm fucked. how it's gonna be for a while. The best way to fight them. Maybe one is fast and one is slow. Yeah, it seems like it. Maybe I should keep this gun. Final, final boss. Oh god. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love the music here. Okay, let's go shotgun for a bit. Oh god. You're just always poking me and poking me. Oh god, god, I'm almost dead. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the rifle because that didn't work out at all. Go, go. James got the fighting spirit. I got this. I got. No, I don't got this. Oh, ouch. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Dude, dude, pressing start over here. I 
I was already running before I could even see it. Finally. Oof. They're just like, you know what? I'm done. He's holding something. A scarlet egg. A rust colored egg. Ugh. Okay, an indentation. Whew, we did it. There we go. Egg number one. Yes. Egg number two. There we go. Honestly, the handgun is probably the nicest weapon for me. Because it's just, it fires so quickly. Ah, we made it out. Sort of. We made it through that. And we're actually back in the hotel. Um, did I come from here? I don't think so. Oh, Mary. Long hallway. Ooh. What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. Are you deaf? Don't come back. James. Wait. Ugh. Don't go. Stay with me. <clears throat> Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. Ugh. So scary, man. So now we basically get the gist of it. Um... It's starting to, like, become obvious. I should turn my brightness down again. Um, that Mary was very sick. I'll, I'll keep it on five. She was very sick. <clears throat> James was trying to be there for her, for her, but for her. But it was hard on him as well. And um, she was so, like... Um, her mood swings were crazy. Because, of course, she was having the hardest time of all. She was slowly dying from the disease. She hated everything, but she she didn't want him to look at her, but at the same time, she wanted him to be there for her. So all of these conflicting feelings, and then it ended with him getting so frustrated by everything as well, um, and um, ended up killing her to, just to be rid of her, I think, to just um, free everyone of their suffering. suffering, I think, is... Probably was something along those lines is what he thought. And then he says that he needed Silent Hill, I'm assuming. He said earlier when that he was weak and I needed he needed it. He needed this. He needed someone to get to him for his sins. Um uh, and Make him face what he'd done. So that's what he's doing right now. So that's why, uh, for anyone new, that's why you hear people complain about 
Pyramid Head being in movies randomly and other games randomly because he was created specifically for James' sins. So he can't technically be... If if this is canon, he can't appear for anyone else because it's only for James. Same way that Angela only sees fire and he sees water. Um, every person's Silent Hill is different along those rules. So nobody else is really supposed to see Pyramid Head. I feel like it's not necessarily... by stairs. That's not necessarily true. I feel like... Um, I kind of like the idea that once something is created by Silent Hill, it's kind of like... Silent Hill makes it according to a person's sins and needs, but once it's created, Silent Hill can kind of like use it for other people as well. In my head, I mean, I'm no, I'm sure a lot of people won't agree with it, me, but for me that works. There she is, we found her. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. Oh god, oh god, I'm already fighting. Oh shit. Ah uh, shit. Oh fuck, I accidentally opened the map. I know I don't have a map. I know I don't have a map. Let go of me. Oh god, she got me. I was reloading, I was reloading. Let me go. Run. Run. Don't. Run, my boy, run. Okay. Oh, she hurts. Holy shit. Maybe I should take an ample. Run! Ah! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Ah, fuck! Go, oh, run, 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 run! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one of these. That was that was a good couple hits. I'm not aiming at her. God damn, they always just get me. What does an ample do again? Restore energy by relieving pain effects are powerful. Yeah, I get less damage now. She always gets me when I'm about to be like, okay, now I should run away. Keeping my health topped off. That's not where she is, dude. Go, go, go! God damn it. There we go. Do I shoot her? 
I actually don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think I just have to do it. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Killing my wife again. Okay. What ending do I get? Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? He's super conflicted, of course. Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. Oh. <laughs> So sad. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, 
and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. What a good sentence. These last few years since I became <coughs> ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Oh, this is so sad. So is that, is that the full letter of what we read in the very beginning of the game? The letter that brought us to Silent Hill? Is it like we only had part of it until we fully like accepted what we'd done and confronted our fears and sins? Uh, were we able to get the full letter? There's Laura. So I'm a little bit vague on Laura, honestly. Um, I get now that people explain to me she doesn't see any monsters because she's innocent. She doesn't have any sins, so Silent Hill just lets her go there. And she's not in any danger, basically. But what I don't get still is like why she would, why she would be brought to Silent Hill. Is it just because she's looking for Mary? Because she doesn't have closure on it? And Silent Hill was like, we can use this for James. But yeah, they leave together. That's it. Woohoo! Hey! Woo woo woo! Silent Hill! Um, let me just skip the credits just in case it's copyright claimed. You never know. Here are the results. Defeated enemy by fighting, 75. Defeated enemy by shooting, 6. <clears throat> I killed almost all of them with a gun, didn't I? We got the leave ending, one of four endings. I, I personally think this is the best ending. This is like the one that gives James a lot of closure, he gets out. Um, the other endings are really interesting too, honestly. But this is, I think, I, I was hoping I would get this one. So that's why I like read the letter again and looked at the picture. Um, I let the conversation in the hallway run completely in that last hallway. I knew that was a good thing towards as well. I kept my health up. That was another thing. Stay healthy. Um, so I glad it, I'm glad it worked out. Five and a half hours, so it's a pretty short game. Um, but oh my god, it's so good. Honestly, you, know, you guys know I've been redoing series. Um, I went to Twitch for a while because YouTube was just not doing well for me. So I went to Twitch and I streamed a lot of games. And streaming is awesome, but it doesn't really work for YouTube. And I also noticed that after years of streaming that your attention just isn't with the game. Um, it's um, 
like you're 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 playing the game but you're playing the game for the people that are alive at that moment instead of playing it for yourself and you're always like reading people's reactions and you're kind of uh, you're multitasking as you're playing it um, and so since October ish when I started Bloodborne is when I was like I'm gonna put new energy into YouTube I'm gonna give games my full attention I'm gonna be respectful about the games and I'm gonna like really try and understand the games that I'm playing um, and I've been so much happier with the quality on YouTube since then and I hope people have noticed I hope you guys are seeing the difference um, and likewise uh, anything before that my my early videos when when I did all the Silent Hill games when I did all the Fatal Frame games etc I wasn't in the in that same mindset that I am now. I also was really like still in that mood of like I need to prove myself. I need to prove that I can beat these older games, um, which is kind of silly. But now that I don't really have that anymore, I feel like I can really take my time and just enjoy the games more for what they are. So personally, I'm a lot happier with this newer content the newer way of doing a way the newer way i am doing things so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as i did because i i know i'm i've been replaying games like we've done bloodborne again sekiro again silent hill of course i've done multiple times but i feel like now i'm finally doing these games justice if you guys understand my drift if you catch my drift um so I'm very happy with this series. I feel like I now finally gave Silent Hill a proper playthrough. And I hope you guys liked it too. So again, thank you so much, Namira, for making this possible. Because it was Namira who was who did the patron pick and was like, you know what, maybe it's fun to do Silent Hill 2 again. There uh, are about 10 patron picks so far. And they're all super interesting. So I can't wait to do another one soon. Um, I'll do one. I'll, I'll start another one in a couple weeks, I think, or at least do a video on it and see if we want to make it a series like we did with Silent Hill. But a um, couple weeks, I'll start another one. For now, that was it. That was Silent Hill 2. And thank you so much for watching till the very end. I really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. And hopefully, I'll see you in some other video in the future. Thank you.